<laughs> oh my god oh my god what is this let me shut this sound Baby Bart went out to the mall Watch this shit no more. Oh, that video has got to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know who makes shit like that. Oh, he's gonna let me borrow twenty dollars till tomorrow. That shit's funny to me. I, maybe it's not funny to a lot of people, but that shit's funny to me. I just, oh man, I got a weird personality, so. It is what it is. Oh, what's going on, man? Woo! A lot of activity today. A lot of activity today. Need more. Hopefully, there'll be more. I need more. I always need more activity. Ain't got nobody here. It looks like it says one person's here, maybe two people here. Now it's down to one person, so it's all good. Maybe there's something else on, you know. Maybe there's videos about people twerking in restaurants on or something right now. I don't know. I'm here to talk about some real shit, though. I'm here to talk about Black Lives Matter. And see... Do I got my Black Lives Matter? No. Oh, I don't have my Black Lives Matter. Oh, I don't have Black Lives Matter. No. I got a lathe shirt on. So, Black Lives Matter, and I told y'all to be careful about Black Lives Matter. I told you. Then it got to the point where I didn't even tell you to be careful. I just said Black Lives Matter movement was bullshit. They were full of shit. And all I had was the proof of what I was seeing around our area. I don't really talk to people that are involved in Black Lives Matter movement outside of our area. So I talked about it in our area. What's up, Free? It's you and me in here right now. Um, but when I talk about Black Lives Matter, I talk with it, talk about it with such a level of cynicism because I don't think they're doing the right things. They ain't been doing the right things. It's now proven that the Black Lives Matter movement has taken tons of money and done very little in the community. It's been proven. See, I'm not just throwing shit up. When I'm saying stuff, I hear stuff, but I, if I don't expound on it, it's because I didn't get any more info. And it's because I, eh, Black Lives Matter is not on my radar. I don't really give a fuck about their protest. I don't really give a fuck about who they're supporting, who they're doing. They don't matter to me because I know they're not helping black people, so fuck it. I know their shit is all about something else, you know, and it is what it is. They're, they're just all about something else. So, hey, when I got smoke in my system, but I need to get a drink because I got a tickle. So I need to get the tickle out, and the tickle can come out with the liquor. With the liquor, there ain't no liquor. This ain't liquor, it's Kool-Aid. Um, with the liquid, but I got smoke in there and I don't want to let the smoke out. It's just, because I'll get the hiccups and air, I oh, don't know. So if y'all ever see me inhale and then drink, it's because I can't let the smoke out too fast and then drink, and drink. I'll get the hiccups. My shit is set up different than y'all's. For real. But yeah, Black Lives Matter is on some bullshit. Been on some bullshit. And now, the shit's done come out that one of the founders, Patrice Cullors, basically done took over Black Lives Matter and did nobody know shit because she did it without anybody knowing. She pulled a straight up gank move 
on BLM and then fractionalized it down into some different BLM juniors and shit. <laughs> Hold on a second. Y'all gonna get to hear me read for a quick minute. Where is this shit at? I'm trying to tell you. If y'all ain't up on this shit, and if you are up on this shit, I don't see y'all posting all that. But y'all be posting all that other bullshit. BLM, BLM. B I be telling y'all, BLM is on some bullshit. Now, we're going to talk about it. Statements from the front lines of BLM. See, BLM was started by Colors and Garza and all, or whatever the other one's name is. But they ain't the ones out there on the front lines. These chapters in these, in these different cities and states have been doing the work. They've been doing the protests. They've been doing all the shit. And they've been buying all the stuff. And BLM, the company, ain't been kicking no bread down. No bread. They ain't been kicking no bread down. So what's happened, what's done happen is the chapters is like, wait a minute. You taking over another role in this company where we need money. We trying to keep the lights on at our BLM offices and we need signs and we need this and we, well, you know. So now they want some transparency about all the bread. They want to know where the bread going because BLM gets donations, millions and millions and millions of dollars of donations. They want to know where the donations going. BLM sit up there like Omar, donations, 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 gifts, gifts, donations, nigga. And ain't nobody saying shit. But you got these chapters out here doing protests, getting locked up, needing a hundred dollars here, two hundred dollars there. BLM ain't kicking none of that bail money down. They having these people starve out, represent their name, build their brand, but don't give the money back. Fuck BLM. I've been telling y'all. So the thing was, they, they put a letter, statements from the front lines of BLM. You know, I'm not just going out the dome. Y'all go out the dome with some shit, but I, I'm going to read some facts here. It was recently declared that Patrice Colors, y'all have been talking about her. Y'all been wondering, who's this Patrice Colors? Who's this Patrice Colors? Most people know Alicia Garza because she's out front. But Patrice Colors, uh, she out front now. It was recently declared that Patrice Cullors was appointed the executive director of the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. Since then, two new Black Lives Matter formations have been announced to the public, a Black Lives Matter political action committee and BLM grassroots. BLM grassroots, that's y'all niggas. <laughs> so they have the Black Lives Matter formation that was announced is BLM Black Lives Matter Political Action Committee. I bet you guards are doing something with that. That's why they want to get with Ice Cube because they want to do something with the politics. And then BLM Grassroots. Y'all niggas. BLM Grassroots was allegedly created to support the organizational needs of chapters separate from the financial functions of BLM GN. So they don't want you near the money. They want you in the street, but they don't want you near the money. Go march, niggas. But you can't get no money. Go protest, niggas, but you can't get no money. Go get locked up, but you can't get no bail money. See, I've been telling y'all about these motherfuckers. And now this shit has come out. We, the undersigned chapters, believe that all of these events occurred without democracy. There goes that word getting tossed around. Democracy and assert that this was without the knowledge of the majority of the Black Lives Matter chapters across the country and world. You hear that? Across the country and world. Where do black people get fucked up the most? In the United States. But there's Black Lives Matter chapters all around the world donating money to Black Lives Matter, donating bread every single hour of the day. Black Lives Matter has been getting bread and they ain't been kicking none to what is now BLM grassroots. None. They ain't been giving them nothing. But they've been out there marching and, and, and dancing and, and, and BLMing and getting nothing for it. 
Don't even get their signs taken care of. Don't even get the propaganda that they need to pass out. None of that. They got to pay for all that shit on their own. Because BLM collecting the bread. And the bread is staying home. Staying with Patrice Colors. We became chapters of Black Lives Matter as radical black organizers. Embracing a collective vision for black people engaging in the protracted struggle for our lives against police terrorism. So this is a black person writing this. When you see these Black Lives Matter protests, who do you see a lot of nowadays? Mostly white people. And they got the Black Lives Matter picket signs and they got Black Lives Matter t-shirts and Black Lives Matter uh, do rags and well, it's been COVID. Black Lives Matter mask. I mean, not the do rag, your know, bandana, whatever the fuck. I said do rag, whatever, you know, whatever. It was a BLM right across the front, and they buying all that shit. But see, when you see black people protesting Black Lives Matter, and they say they got a chapter. They out there with some old rickety signs that they motherfucking stenciled because BLM ain't kicking them down no fucking signs or no sign money. BLM keeping all the bread. Bring it all here. Bring it. We need some stuff for, for, for our uh, meeting. We got, no, nah, we're not giving you shit. Power to the people. We, uh, we have a guest speaker, but they need a $1,500 honorarium. Can you help us out with that? You better get a free speaker. Power to the people. Shit. BLM has okey-doked motherfuckers out of tens, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars. They just said around the world. Around the fucking world. This is where BLM is. They're not just in the country. And they said they got chapters in Philly, Washington, D.C., Chicago, Hudson Valley, New York, Oklahoma City, Indianapolis, uh, Denver, Colorado, Vancouver, Washington, San Diego, New Jersey. That's just that's just a portion. These were just the chapters that signed the statement. So I ain't reading it all. These are the ones that just signed a statement. Yeah, BLM done fucked up. And let me read you the closing. I ain't gonna read all into this shit too much. But it was a it was an eloquently put together letter, very professional. And they mean business. They do mean business. But Patrice Colors has some motherfucking splaining to do. I mean, she basically just deboed her way to the top. Alicia Garza has been out front talking all this political shit recently. That's why I say she's probably part of that political part. And then you got these chapters that are part of that BLM grassroots part. But over all this bitch is Patrice Colors. Alicia can have the political, the chapters can have the grassroots, but... Patrice getting all the money. She's the executive director of everything. Give me that. I need that now. I told y'all. I told y'all Black Lives Matter movement was bullshit. Y'all thought I was just hating. What's there to hate on? I'm trying to save y'all some fucking anguish. Y'all don't want to listen to me. I get it. Y'all listen to preachers and y'all listen to teachers and y'all listen to every motherfucker except the motherfuckers is talking that real shit to you. Don't listen to me. I don't give a fuck whether you listen to me or not. So I hardly ever even do Facebook lives because I'm doing the shit over on YouTube now. Don't nobody watch the motherfuckers over there, but that don't matter because that's building something. What am I building here? I tell a motherfucker something and he go do the opposite shit. Y'all out here fucking marching with these motherfuckers. Here's the thing. 
If y'all marching and protesting and y'all paying for all the propaganda and all the shit to do this, y'all get locked up, got to bail yourself out, y'all protest that, bam, 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 and nobody from BLM has ever reached out to you? Don't that tell you something? If you had been getting fucked up like this in the 60s, somebody would have reached out to you from the SCLC. You might have not talked to Martin. You might have not talked to Ralph, but somebody would have said something. Like, check on them niggas up in Michigan. They getting fucked up up there. Do we got a march? Somebody would have said something. Has anybody from BLM said anything to you? Fuck no. They ain't said a goddamn thing to you. Why? Because they don't give a fuck. BLM don't give a fuck. They collecting bread. Grand Theft Doe. I'm going to read this in right here. This is crazy shit. Oh, so this was the one thing they did a whole bunch of bullet points. This is, this is one of the bullet points. To the best of our knowledge, most chapters have received little to no financial support from BLM GN. That's the whole thing that Patrice is over. Since the launch in 2013, seven motherfucking years, and they ain't gave these niggas a plum nickel. They've been out here doing this shit on their own. I guess they are grassroots. Shit. They can't get no far past the motherfucking grass or the roots. No money for seven years? And I wonder how much the Black Lives Matter Global Network is worth. I wonder how much money they've been brought in over the last seven years. Seven years, man. And they ain't gave out no bread. It was... Only in the last few months that selected, not all, they gave all nothing, but a selected few chapters appear to have been invited. So they, uh, just a few been invited, not all the chapters, just a few of y'all niggas can come. And then once they select those, then they'll get invited to apply. So they didn't pick all of you, so they selected a few chapters. Then they invited you to apply. They're going to give you the opportunity to apply. You might not get approved, even though you're a chapter, even though you've been functioning, you know, but you're having meetings, all kinds of shit. But you might not get approved for this $500,000 grant created with resources generated because of the organizing labor of chapters. So let me say that again, created with resources generated because of the organizing labor of chapters. What is the organizing labor of chapters? Marching, protesting, raising money, selling t-shirts, selling signs. All across the world, they sitting on fucking stacks and ain't giving nothing. Now they want to give it back in a grant. If you qualify. How do you not qualify for the grant if you're a fucking chapter? Each one of the chapters should be getting a half a million dollars to be functional businesses, create jobs in their community. That's how you expand the movement, but they're not concerned about expanding the movement. They're concerned about expanding their own portfolio. Patrice Colors is a motherfucker. This is not the equity and financial accountability we deserve. They serious. They coming for the bag. They need, they need to know where the money's at. They know they raised money for BLM and BLM ain't kicked no money down. So they not wondering where it's at, man. It's, and it's a great fucking thing. Statement from the front lines of BLM. Yeah. Patrice Cullors as a sole board member of BLM GM. She's the sole board member. Whatever happened to all the other co-founders, fuck them. Don't matter. They're non-existent. She deboed this shit from them. Became the executive director against their will of most chapters and without their knowledge. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Check this out. In our experience, 
Chapter organizers have been consistently prevented from establishing financial transparency, collective decision-making, or collaboration on political analysis and vision. They've held everybody at bay. They've held everybody at bay. What's going on, Sister Cosetta? You are not late. You are always on time. Brother Tyrone, we're talking about the lack of accountability with Black Lives Matter, Brother Tyrone. They're not being held accountable, Brother Tyrone. Yeah, and turn their back on them even more during the pandemic. Check this out. For years, there has been an inquiry regarding the financial operations of BLMGN and no acceptable process or either public or internal transparency about the unknown millions of dollars, the unknown millions of dollars donated to BLMGN which has certainly increased during the time of pandemic and rebellion. See, they, they done fucked up. These motherfuckers is on it. They know more money's coming in because of the pandemic. During the pandemic, how many black people have been killed by police? During the bl pandemic, how many people black, or black people have been killed unjustifiably, period? Black Lives Matters reap the benefits of that, and they've kicked no money down now. They want it. These, these grassroots chefs, they're going to get paid. Deep shit. And this is how they close this shit. We remain committed to collectively building an organization of BLM chapters that is democratic, accountable, and functions in a way that is aligned with ide ideological values and commitment to liberation. We will move forward with transparency and expound on our efforts, our collective efforts to seek transparency and organizational unity in the fuller statement in the near future. As we collectively determine next steps, we encourage our supporters to donate directly. What have I been telling y'all? Stop sending money to the BLM Corporation. I told y'all this. See, y'all be watching the video sometimes and then you, you uh, he, he cuss a lot. Bitch, so what I cuss a lot? What I cuss a lot with is info, intel for your monkey ass. But see, you worried about me cussing, but then you'll go watch the twerk videos. You'll go watch the fight videos. You'll go watch all that dumb shit. You, you, fuck all that. As we collectively determine next steps, we encourage our supporters to donate directly to chapters who represent the front line of Black Lives Matter. See, it's about the people in the street, not the corporation. And y'all been sending money to BLM, BLM, BLM. I appreciate the philanthropic spirit. But if it's not going anywhere to help black people, what the fuck you doing it for? Absolutely. They got rich as black people continue to get decimated. There we go. I mean, we're on a way down. Black Lives Matter is on the way up. I thought we were supposed to meet somewhere in the middle. I thought they were supposed to be helping us, protecting us. So I said, they don't do shit for like black people, like you shouldn't have to just step up when we go to jail from protesting or you shouldn't have to just step up when black people are unjustifiably killed by police. You should be stepping up if black lives matter. Shouldn't we matter all the time and not just when we're going through some fucking traumatic situation in this fucking country? That's why I know black lives matter is full of shit. Full of shit. Patrice Colors solely. Just deboed the whole company. And I'm not saying that the whole company didn't deserve to be deboed, but this is where you're at with it. This is social justice. This is this is what you do to help. You've been 
You don't do this overnight. This is a plot. She's been at this for months. You don't take over a company. You know what? Let me see. You don't take over a company. Come up out of that. And overnight, over a weekend. It takes months to do the shit. And she's been working on that. For a while. And nobody knew. Nobody knew. I don't even understand that. Yeah, I don't understand that. Um, but there have been rumors about the money's not going to the people for months. And nobody was saying anything. I mean, you know, this was a weird ass year. Um, COVID, the political shit. I get maybe some people fell off. I get it. Um, I'm trying to see something that shows me something like where, where they've had money come in. Okay. So I don't know what kind of money they're really, really making. But this is on NPR. Let me see. As much money as we're talking about, about how much money is rolled in. It's unclear. So, this is this is on NPR. Oh, I guess they could tell because it's the 501c3. Between May 31st and June 5th, this year, they had $4 million in donations. Just between May 31st and June 5th. June 5th? We're talking six days. And they got $4 million. And they says they froze. I said, to their credit, they froze that. I don't know what that really means. Maybe they didn't use it because they were getting more money, but whatever. They're mishandling money. It's obvious they're mishandling money or they wouldn't have these people, the Black Lives Matter grassroots movement on their ass. And now they're trying to jump into politics. That's why Patrice Cullors said, we want something for our vote. What do you mean you want something for your vote? Where were you before? the election. What do you want for your vote? Are you speaking for black lives or are you speaking for black trans lives? Are you speaking for black queer lives? Are you speaking for black gay lives? Are you speaking for black bi lives? Are you just speaking for black LGBT? T. Q Q I A P. Is that what you're speaking for? Because that's who Black Lives Matter generally speaks up for. They generally speak up for the LGBT Q plus crowd. I'm not going to do the whole acronym every time. I can. LGBTQQIAP. Can you see that shit all spelled out, boy? And the definitions for it? You ain't seen shit. So, yeah. Ain't nobody else said nothing. Ain't nobody else been in here. There's about six or seven of us in here. Bree's been active. You have you have faith and then you have false hope. 
And I know a lot of people, you know, they put, they put a lot of faith, but if I'm put faith in God, I'm put faith in God. I'm not here to shit on anybody's belief in God. But you can't put everything on God. You got to do some shit. You got to do some, do some right shit. You can't put everything on God. You know what I'm saying? You can't put everything on God. That's not good. What is that, 924? Yawning? What I'm seeing is a lot of people putting a lot of false hope out there because that's the difference between faith and no faith. There's faith and then there's false hope. And then there's just no faith. You have that false hope where you really don't believe shit's going to happen, but you say you think you do, and you're not doing anything to put any effort for it, but you say it's going to work, and, and you, you didn't see you putting it in God's hands. But with out works, faith is dead, right? Faith without works, however the shit goes. Soul trading, scramble, board it yourself. I got the gist of it. Without works, faith is dead. Without faith, works is dead. It's all in there. Figure it out yourself. So, there you go. God helps those who help themselves. And I ain't talking about helping yourself at the goddamn table. Getting some food and shit. I'm not talking about that helping yourself. Helping better yourself. If you're not looking to better yourself, then what the fuck are you doing out here? And stop fucking with people that are trying to better themselves. A lot of people are trying to better themselves and you're not trying to better yourself and then you hold them up. What you holding them up for? Get out their way. Out their motherfucking way. God damn. They donated a lot of money to these motherfuckers. I'm going to find out. Uh oh. They had $100 million in 16. That's three years in. They had got to $100 million. Now we four years later. They might be at a half billion. They was in three years in. They was at $100 million. Now we seven years in. They could easily be at three, four, possibly half billion with the pandemic. Tell me something. Tell me something. I was supposed to be worried about Joe Biden and, 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 and Donald Trump. This right here, this has people captivated like church. Black Lives Matter has had people's minds captivated like church. The Black Lives Matter signs are everywhere. They're just not in black people's yards and windows. They in white people's yards and windows. Black Lives Matter has done some criminal shit here. I know they'll say, well, is it really criminal or is it just unethical? You got people out here marching in the street, going to jail for your monkey ass, building your brand, and you're not helping them out when they, when they formulate chapters and shit. That's criminal. And it's unethical. And you need your ass whooped. Shit. That's why, you know, that protest and shit, fuck all that, man. I'm not going to jail to prove that a situation is fucked up. I'm not doing it. I get why people do it, and I'm not condemning anybody for doing it. I'll condemn some protests, because I think some protests are just bullshit. But I get why people do it. It's just not for me. I've been there. Those, those were yesteryears. I protested. We, 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 we passed that. We're on to more actionable items. Come on, man. We could have a black military, a Black Lives Matter, 
black lives need protection. And we can hire brother Dale Brown as the tactical trainer to teach black people how to get through this shit. You know, they got the NFAC. Dale's got his tactical training. We got some from black people. Hold on a second. I'm put it right in here. Is that Dale? Where Dale at? Dale? Tag him in the comment right there. And he ain't going to probably see this. But Dale has, I mean, Dale got tanks and shit. He got tanks. He just ain't no security motherfucking outfit that got t-shirts. You know, little, little t-shirts would be two sizes too small. They got real shit. He's, and it's a company and they can teach you tactical training. They protect presidents. They protect, you know, world leaders and shit. He got underwater equipment. He got, he got all kind of shit. And we have situations where appreciate that comment oh man see they already got what they need though Tyrone the people that started Black Lives Matter already were well to do family generational wealth None of them are all ADOS. All had some other, you know, step up. They had bootstraps. But we need to be in a situation to where we are protecting ourselves. We are getting the proper nourishment. We are getting the proper health care. Education goes without saying at this point. The youngins need to be educated. Then we send them to school. Y'all hear me? The youngins need to be educated. And then we send them to school. Because if you just send them to school and you letting the schools teach your kids, you done fucked up. You done fucked up. If you bar to the mall. <laughs> Let me bar to an out to the mall. <laughs> All right, I can't do it. The shit is just hilarious to me. But I find shit just funny just because. That shit is hilarious to me, though. What else is out there? What, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? What's on your mind, Tyrone? It's on your mind, bro. I, I talk about anything right now, goddammit. I'll talk about any motherfucking thing right now. I'm just, this is the way I'm feeling right now. I, I'm, I'm willing to talk about anything. What's on your mind? I really want to, I want to, I want to, I want to expound on some shit. And so what, what else is out here, man? Let me just, you know, I go through, you know, I ain't done fucking with Roland Martin either. Little plump motherfucker. I'm on his ass. I just had some shit I had to do. I had to get that shit about the, the, the twerking uh, kitchen. I had to get that out. Oh, this is nasty. This is nasty. Oh. This heifer is in a restaurant 
twerking. It's not the true kitchen. It's like a Coney Island. Just, ugh. You know, I don't talk about big women just because they're big, you know. I mean, shit, I'm a big motherfucker. I'm not going to talk about a big motherfucker. But she's she's large. She's a very large woman. And she has on, like, boy shorts and a bra. It's not like, like she doesn't have her clothes on. Or if that's an actual outfit for her. And then she's in a diner. You Like, she's in a diner with a checkered floor. You know, checkered floor. So old-style diner. And she's all, and she's twerking it. It's not Lizzo, right? This isn't Lizzo. No, it's not Lizzo. It's just some big ass heifer. I mean, and and the man of the of the family is getting up and it looks like the son or son in law is trying to stop him because he's about to tell her, like, get your ass up out of here. It's crazy shit. The MC shootings. So, Tyrone, they arrested them two youngins, and then shootings happened the next night, and they've continued. They've continued in Ypsilanti. A young kid was shot? I mean, they've apprehended nobody. What is the sheriff's department doing? Do you see patrols out in the area? Do you see police walking out in the area like doing some investigating over there? I mean, I know you you deep in Ipsy. You in the area where some things have happened. Are you seeing boots on the ground over there for WCSO, state police, Ypsilanti? Is anybody talking to anybody? Or are they just waiting for the next shooting to happen? And hopefully they can get them in a traffic stop like they got the other little motherfuckers. I mean, what you saying, man? They can't report all those shootings. Then that brings the safeness of the area down. That brings property values down. They can't do that. No, no, they're not going to report all the shootings. They're not going to report all the mischief. That's all political. Keeping that right off the radar. That's all political. Absolutely. Yeah. The M line M, M line is, is is heavily funded by motherfuckers that say keep the violence out of print. I mean, and it's all digital now, so M M Live is bought and paid for. Real shit. M Line is bought and paid for. It's no longer Ann Arbor News. We don't have Ann Arbor News and Ipsy News, which was the Ann Arbor News at the end there. Yeah. Ipsy had their own paper for a while. But yeah, man, I just don't see any action with the WCSO. And I know the WCSO supposedly got some things happening up there. You know, they, they still ain't got past the deputy that they hired that was a uh, alleged uh, assailant for sexual abuse. Trying to be politically correct here. They say he raped some people. Okay. Um, and then there's another situation that one of the COs was trading ramen noodles for sexual favors. Yeah. One of the COs, I, you know, I don't even know if it's ramen noodles, so I, I kind of fabricated that, but it was commissary. They get ramen noodles. But yeah, he'd bring in the treats from commissary and then trade out sexual favors with the female inmates. Yeah. They was giving up that thing to get them things. He just have a whole bag of fucking food and he getting broke off. Straight up predator, bro. Straight up predator. I don't know what's happening, but I'm hearing some things. I'm hearing some things at the WCSO. 
that can't be good because that's internal. That's how Jerry rose up. Noodles for cookies. Yeah. You want chicken or beef, baby? And then, I don't think they really out of the woods. And people been looking around like, all these people are in his inner circle. All these people work for the Cardinal Group. And all these people were fucking with him with politics. There's some interchanging of shit. How they do all this work, do all this, do all that. He got these motherfuckers on payroll. And they collecting a check from the county. Need to start looking into some people. You know. How did all these people get these positions? Are everybody qualified? Yeah. You got people on the staff that shouldn't be on the staff. You got people at WCSO. Should not be on WCSO. They're on Jerry's watch. They're his people. He's kept them around. Because that's who he is. That's who he That's your sheriff. Sure. Yep. Yeah. But hopefully somebody's investigating. Hopefully somebody's checking on it. I'm hearing rumbles. I'm hearing I'm hearing rumbles around here. You out there in the empty area too, Tyrone. If you know somebody that needs a Christmas tree, these are real Christmas trees. They're live Christmas trees. So if you know somebody needs a Christmas tree, we're going to have a Christmas tree uh, giveaway. You know, people just be able to walk them and get a tree. There's going to be like four foot, five foot, and six foot trees. And then, you know, and we're going to be giving them away over in FCFC Township on Saturday, I believe. Saturday, starting Saturday, however they long they last. They're going to be right there. You better come pick the tree up. Put it, put it on your car. Bring some bungee cord. We well, don't have any. The trees are just being given away. Okay? They're being given away. So it's not going to be any. We ain't going to have no twine for you to tie. No, do all, bring all that stuff. We're giving you the tree. Bring that twine. Everything will be fine. But we'll have the exact address tomorrow. I don't know the exact address, but it's over in Ipsy Township. Just, uh, I think it's just east of Prospect. But I'll get the address tomorrow. I'll post it. And if you know anybody who needs Christmas trees, we'll definitely do it. I'll get with you on it. So y'all got to understand... Don't fuck with BLM. BLM ain't good for us. Now, if it's the BLM grassroots, the local chapters, and you want to donate money to the local chapters, that's different. And get their paperwork, too. Make sure they are a localized chapter. Don't send no money off to motherfucking Patrice Colors at the BLM GN. They're going to cash your check and go shopping. Hell, man, I tried to tell y'all, man. I tried to tell y'all. This is not a situation that's going to change either because she's got it locked airtight. The chapter's got to come up out. And then if she's forced to give them some bread on a retroactive situation, then they feel they're better about themselves. But they still got to work this shit out. Or they can disband. And that would be bad because the people do need the shit, but they don't need it coming from BLM GN. They, they, they the gangsters. Trees Colors is the motherfucking gangster, dog. She took a company over without anybody's approval, without anybody's knowledge. She had motivation. She had ambition. Well, yeah, let's chop it up. That'd be lovely. 
give somebody a full five, six course meal and shit. That'd be beautiful. By Chef Ty Bozilla. So watch out for them motherfuckers. Everybody been asking me about why. Am I going to take the vaccine if it's made available to me? No. They say they're giving it to the frontline people and shit. They're giving it to the frontline people. I want to see how they're going to react. See, because I have unique situations, not unique to everybody. There's other people that's gone through bariatrics, full bariatrics. So I need to see a motherfucker get the vaccine that went through some type of shit that I've gone through. Because our bodies are different on the inside. We look the same outside. We, you know, I'm still fat. I didn't look like other fat niggas. But my shit is rewired. So I really can't do a lot of the same shit that a lot of motherfuckers can do from the inside. So they say you're going to have some negative reactions to this vaccine. And I really don't know if my body can take that. So maybe I'll wait till the second one to come around where you have less side effects. They got to figure them side effects out. I ain't trying to get fucked up out here. How'd he die? Took the vaccine? What the fuck? How'd Shannon die? He got that COVID vaccine, nigga. What? No, no, that's not, that's not it. Nope. We'll figure it out. Anything else? I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I got a couple minutes and shit. Anything else? Is there anything else out there that, that we haven't talked about? I mean, what else is there out here? You know. <laughs> yeah, Rolling, he, he gonna get it. You know, Rolling just should have fucking answered the goddamn question and kept it moving. I don't know why he had to snap back like that and then bring out his little roly trolleys. That's okay. They started something. I already told you, I ain't gonna be no bitch on here. This is in the YouTube streets and the Twitter streets. Facebook really didn't know about it until I brought the video back. But yeah, I'm not gonna be nobody's bitch. Fuck all that. Kick the shit real to me. What I got in here. I think we covered it. Got it. You said check the comments. So what's up? What else? Last thing we talked about, putting a meal together, Tyrone, you know. Food sponsored by Chef Tybo Zilla. Tonight at 11, all right, I, I'm trying to stay up. Try to stay up. It's only an hour and ten minutes from now. Be on time, nigga. Don't don't be like me and shit. I'll be late on my shit. Yeah. We're going to keep an eye on this, this WCSO situation. Something's going to happen. Something got to happen. Something's going to pop. Oh, shit. Speaking of the WCSO, I meant to bring this up before. 
this my brother's keeper thing. I mean, they do this my brother's keeper thing, and now these motherfuckers done made a rap album. Where the shit is? Where the shit is? They done made a rap album. Now, I don't know who's rapping on the album. It doesn't even matter to me. Okay? Haven't heard any of the songs. They may be... They may be fucking hits. The album might be a Grammy Award winning album. Maybe. The only thing that I can say positively, it's constructive behavior. It's not destructive, it's constructive. For young men trying to find their way in to this thing we call adulthood. Because I I got the ages. This is the My Brother's Keeper. This is the Obama thing that Jerry adopted for Washtenaw County. Washtenaw My Brother's Keeper. You, you probably heard of it. So... They got together. They got together and they formed a rap team. So they made an album. A whole lot of people made a whole lot of songs and they made an album. I guess it's a compilation. I don't think they're all rapping on the same songs. They're all different people. Okay? The ages are 16, which is, to me, if somebody wants to rap, that means he's gotten the basis of the English language down, can formulate sentences, and if he's rapping, he's able to, you know, rhyming and things like that, he's good with it. 16, it's a good age. You want to start rapping. Some people have started earlier. Many people have started later. But 16 is a good age. Good age. You want to start rapping. But I'm not really interested in hearing a 50-year-old rapper. A 50-year-old rapper? Really? They got rappers spanning from 16 to 52 years old on this rap album. Now, I know the thing is called My Brother's Keeper. But did they change it to My Oldest Brother's Keeper? To My Uncle Charles Keeper? My daddy's keeper. Hell, I'm a granddaddy of 50. At 52, he can be a granddaddy. My granddaddy's keeper? The fuck you doing rapping? Are you the executive producer of the project? You chose just to put you a little track on there? Or are you really trying to flow with a 16-year-old? That's the age difference. 16 to 52. What could you be talking about that the 16-year-old is going to have any knowledge of at 52? And how do you understand anything that the 16-year-old is talking about at 52? Fuck with me here. Fuck with me. What are y'all doing? Rapping? My brother's keeper. I'm going to get the thing. Wait a minute. Here it is. WBMK is proud to present Formula 734. This is a compilation album. See, it is a compilation album featuring Ipsy and Ann Arbor area men of color. Men 
of color. Men of color. So that's how I'm gonna keep from getting mad reading this shit. Men of color. Black men? Are you saying black men? I don't see no white people in the rap group, so just say black men. Ages 16 to 52. These songs are a result of real conversations held before each session. Conversations about life, love, money, racism, and more. Our norms encourage the musicians not to use any hate speech directed towards any person or group. But other than that, these are their unfiltered thoughts and emotions. Listen to what these brothers have to say and support them if you ever come across their work. I don't know anybody that's bought the album. I don't know anybody that's bought it. So, but you know, It says parental advisory, so they cuss. So they cuss. I mean, it's a 52-year-old, he's gonna cuss. How many 52-year-olds you know, you know that don't cuss? And if he's rapping, he's gonna cuss. The 16 year old is probably going to cuss too, so yeah. Where we are. Where we are. Oh, man. See, we talked about some political shit, some real shit. servitude shit because that's what that's what this is about you know statistically this will be a dose for the black watch why because we need to have these conversations on the book you know i'm really just talking really to free and 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 tyrone there's been a few other people that have fallen through and then they leave they don't say anything it's just not nah, I, I don't care they want to say hey they say hey if they don't say hey fuck them i don't care I appreciate you stopping through. Liking and commenting, you know, building that algorithm is what we need to do. That's what we're, that's what we're setting out to do. We've got to build that algorithm. Y'all build it for other people. Why wouldn't you build it now? You see, it's positive. See, y'all will support negative messages. Support him. Motherfucker's birthday come up. You said happy birthday to a celebrity and you don't know him and he's not going to respond. Motherfucker, you know, just because he slighted you 30 years ago, you ain't going to say happy birthday to him. What about just slight it? Y'all have talked and shit and hung out. Not like did shit like, like Red, what he did. He's stealing $25,000. It's different. That's different. The mother was still 25 bands. That's different than, you know, having a little indifference. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah, this is my brother's keeper thing. I'm going to try to find some of the music. I'm going to listen to it. You know. Got all, got all the rappers in here and they're doing a little... He did a little interview with him. Yeah. Okay. No, they do their little breakfasts. Now I guess they do virtual. Motherfuckers just be up there just eating the food that they got at their house. Nobody, they're not meeting anywhere. That, that's what they were really known for was having the breakfasts. Okay. Anybody meet at IHOP, join hands and shit. Do some shit with these youngins. You had him in the studio, you know, like I said. It's a positive thing. It's gotta take him somewhere though. I don't I don't I don't know how that many rappers you had. 
but they're 16 to 52. I'd really like to know the older ages. I'd really like to know the ones that were more than 30. Hopefully, majority of the youngins that were rapping were under 30. I want to see how many were over 30. Because there's too many over 30, then we're, we're really we're, we're losing touch. You got a 52-year-old rapper. The fuck are you rapping about at 52, bro? 52? Nigga. You rapping at 52, bro? Come on, man. How old is Jay-Z? Jay-Z rap? Jay-Z 50? Diddy is 50? Those are old niggas in the game. And they've really done it. What are you out here rapping about at 50? What are you doing? What are you doing? Rapping at 50. Don't get it, man. Okay. They got to do something better than this. I mean, there could have been a police academy, junior police academy. There could have been all types of things that would have steered kids towards law enforcement to some degree. Maybe not just being a cop, administration, all types of shit. As a black sheriff, knowing that employment is fucked up out here for black people, this is a viable job to have. Why didn't you promote it, Jerry? Why? Because you're not my brother's keeper. But you chose to have the foundation. You chose to put it together. Black president, black sheriff. I'm going to do what he do. I'm going I'm to do what he do. But you ain't did. You ain't did shit that Obama's done. And Obama ain't did shit. But he did more than you. Because hell, he got money backing his projects up. Who's supporting your project for My Brother's Keeper? Hmm? People of color? Fuck out of here. So yeah, man. Fire Academy, Junior Community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit, man. All that. All that. They have wasted 12 years and they're about to waste four more. And I hope they don't make it. Hope something happens to that administration. Because I think there's too many problems in that administration. Absolutely. Too many problems. Yep. So yeah, man, we'll get that together for the Christmas thing, Tyrone. I'll get the uh, address to where the trees will be able to be picked up by the individual families who want a tree. And we're going to keep it pushing one way or the other. He putting one in front of the other. I got 12, so I'm, I'm moving about, moving two feet just on steps. My stride's probably about 23 or so. You know, 50, about, about four and a half feet. Every step, I'm moving about four and a half feet. Bam, 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 bam. Got to keep it pushing, man. Got to keep it moving. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm going to do that. Going to do that. So, yeah. Let me bar to an odd to the ma. <laughs> That's just the mood I'm in right now. Bart went out to the mall. <laughs> oh boy.
I'll get it y'all tomorrow. Some way, shape, or form. I will. Girl, I didn't see nothing. Geriatrics. No. Which? I don't really understand that. So we'll pick a family? Okay. We'll pick a family. We can do that. We could do that. All right, ma'am, just uh, potato chips are in the fucking other room. Now I need my potato chips. Getting silly ass messages and shit. But it's about what I'm doing, so I'm really trying to, just trying to make sure I'm not leaving anything hanging. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get some of that 734 formula. See what that see what that music's about. I'm more interested in knowing how many over 30 rappers there are, and I'm interested in knowing. And hearing the 53-year-old rapper, 52, 53-year-old rapper. Now you got an AARP card. You don't need to be rapping. That's just real shit. You got an AARP card. You don't need to be rapping. Maybe you need to be crooning a little bit. You know, you can still maybe have the same type of rhymes and just turn it into like an R&B flavor. You really don't need to be rapping. Not at 52, 53. Guys. Damn. Don't you have something better to do, nigga? You rapping with kids? 52? Find you a hobby, man. Is that your hobby? Fuck. And is it doing anything? Are these kids getting anything out of this? I don't want you just taking them on a motherfucking field trip down to the Mot uh, Motown Museum. Fuck is that? What's the next step for them? They don't get on with the rapping. What's the next step? Y'all planning for that? Y'all helping with that? Y'all facilitating that? That's what I'm most concerned with. Yeah. So yeah, man. <laughs> Don't know any more money to the BLM. <laughs> BLM is a sham. <laughs> yeah, be rap a lot, girl. BLM is a sham. Fried, I think Tyrone just told you to make the dressing. And I mean, I pulled it out the same way other people have pulled it out. Well, maybe not the same way because I'm not the same motherfucker. But I pulled it out. It is what it is. Fuck Patrice Colors. Fuck Alicia Garza. Let them do what they gonna do. Let them do what they gonna do. They just do, you know. Now they want something for their vote. Who's you? Shit. Okay. I'll holler at y'all. One love.